You know, I'm a little bit controversial in this regard because I don't see much difference between executive coaching and life coaching. Um, uh, for me, um, the only difference actually is that executive coaching um, is coaching which is paid for by a company as opposed to not, um, in which case if it's paid for by an individual, we tend to call it life coaching, but this is just a language that, that may be just my language. Um, but you know, whether you're coaching, you're coaching an individual, uh, whether you're coaching an executive or whether you're coaching somebody that is not an executive, it's still a human being that has certain goals and certain things that they would like to do in their life or their career and they have a whole bunch of other things that are getting in their way. Interference, if you wish, that's to those goals. And my uh, working hypothesis on this is that most of that interference is in here. They don't present with that, they present with all sorts of interference which is external to them. But actually the interference tends to be actually in there and how they're relating to all of those external things. I think that the first benefit of truly removing that interference perhaps would be, and maybe it's the most important, exceptional well-being. When we can act totally consciously in every moment, we are likely to be able to exercise impulse control. We're, at, we're likely to be in the moment, you know, doing, attending to what we need to be attending to in a particular moment rather than attending to the future or the past, which is what tends to happen when the brain is working in default mode. Um, when we are attending to the present moment, it is pretty well, it's uncontroversial I think now, that when we're attending to the present moment, we are happy. There is a higher level of serotonin in the, in the brain, lower levels of dopamine, which create all of our cravings and addictions, which ultimately lead to our suffering, is flying around in our brain. And so I think what all that amounts to is a feeling of satisfaction or well-being. So that's benefit A. Now I'm not quite sure what other benefits really matter once you've got benefit A sorted out. But fundamentally, if we are happy, if we are acting, if we're doing the right thing moment by moment, not just what appears to be right for us in a particular moment, but what actually is right for us and others in the context of the longer term, then we will be successful. So you could say benefit B, which is a spin-off of genuine well-being, which can only occur when we do the right thing moment by moment, is exceptional success. Benefit C, we get promoted. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's slightly flippant, but you know, I think those are the two, if you wish, key benefits of this kind of coaching.